Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to have a brief tutorial on how to get set up in using Barry Chan's ACNH Mobile Spawner. Now, this is a tool for Animal Crossing New Horizons that has a variety of features you can use. Now, in order to use this and for the purpose of this video guide, you must have a modded Nintendo Switch with custom firmware running on it. If you do not have one, this video is not relevant to you. Before we get started, you will need to have the latest version of SysBotBase on your Switch. I will provide the link for you in the description below. Just make sure you are downloading the one that says the latest release. Scroll down to the zip file and download it to your computer. Then what you want to do is unzip that file and copy and paste the contents into the root of your SD card. So basically you will be dragging this atmosphere folder and merging it with the atmosphere folder in the root of your SD card on your switch. Now if you did this properly, you will see that you have a blue glow around your home button when you boot it into CFW. Now next thing you want to do is go to the GitHub and download Mobile Spawner. Once again, the link will be in the description below. Make sure that you are downloading the latest release and you pick the one that you want. Now I am going to be downloading the one for Windows because I am using this on my Windows PC. Once you go ahead and do that and you have the download pop up, you want to make sure that you extract the contents and then you're going to be opening up the ACNH spawner.exe. Now once you go ahead and launch uh, Mobile Spawner, you will see the window pop up to the right. If for whatever reason this window is either too big or too large for you, all you have to do is go into the config.txt and change this number. Once you save it, you can go ahead and relaunch Mobile Spawner and the window size should be changed. Now the first thing that you should notice is when you look to the bottom, you'll see that there is no connection active. In order for you to uh, get your switch connected to mobile spawner you will need to make sure that you have the game launched and you have the correct IP address for your switch you're going to make sure that you type it in to here and you're going to go ahead and click on connect if done correctly you will see that it was successful you will also see that there's a little battery icon here on the bottom if you go ahead and click on that it will tell you how much battery is left on your Nintendo switch currently also on the very bottom you will see if you have an outdated version of mobile spawner or if you are using the latest version now if you head over to the top left this is your general settings normally you don't want to touch anything here as the latest release should have most of these pre-configured now if you do have multiple characters on your island you can change the player um, you can go ahead and click on fetch names to actually get the names in game that way you can pick which character's pocket you want to inject into. Also, if you go to the bottom, you'll see an option that tells you to repair sprites. If you have any problems with the images loading up, you can go ahead and click on this option here. Back to the main screen, make sure you click on read RAM in order to see what's in your player's inventory in game at the current moment. If you'd like to add an item to your pockets, just simply go to the search bar and type in the item you're looking for. Now let's look up the diner chair for example. Now since we picked a furniture item, you can see on the bottom there's an option to change the body type. This will change the variation or color of the item you selected. Now let's say I want to keep it as a red diner chair. I can go ahead and inject it into my pockets. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on an empty spot and I'm going to click on set to current and that will give me the red diner chair in my pocket. Now let's say I want a different color of the diner chair. All I have to do is go down to the body and change the color that I want. Now I've selected yellow. I'm going to go to another empty inventory slot and I'm going to click on set to current and there you'll see it. Now let's say I want a whole row filled with yellow diner chairs. All I have to do is click on fill row instead of uh, going to each individual inventory slot and clicking on set to current. So go ahead and click on fill row and you'll see that that whole line is filled up with yellow diner chairs. Now if you want to fill your whole pockets with diner chairs, all you have to do is click on fill all. If you'd like to delete an item from your pockets, all you have to do is right click on your mouse pad and that will automatically delete the item. Another way is click on the item that you want and there is an option on the bottom that says delete item. Now if you want to delete everything from your pockets, just go to the delete item tab on the bottom and click it three times. Once you do that, you'll see that everything in your pockets was deleted. 
Another neat but subtle feature is the image icon on the bottom right of the search bar. If you click on this, you'll see the enlarged image of the item that you're trying to inject into your pockets. Now, this is really useful in case you need to take a better look at the item that you're injecting. Now, the last thing I want to go over in this video is how to stack items such as materials or Nook Miles tickets. Simply search for the item that you want. For example, I will look up Nook Miles ticket. Once you click on that, you'll see that you can go to an empty inventory slot and you can set the item there, but you are only injecting one Nook Miles ticket. That you want to make sure that your Nook Miles tickets are stacked to the max amount. Now in order to do this, make sure you go down to the count section here and you can click on it twice and the app will automatically max stack it for you. Now you can go to an empty slot and you can set the current or you can fill your whole pocket inventory with 400 Nook Mile tickets. Double clicking on the count on the bottom does take out the guessing from your end in case you happen to forget. Now whenever you're done putting stuff into your pockets, make sure that you click on Write Changes. Otherwise, the changes will not take effect in-game. Now this does conclude my initial introduction video into using ACNH Mobile Spawner. Stay tuned for a more in-depth guide on the other features. If you guys have any questions on how to use ACNH Mobile Spawner, make sure that you guys join either Barry Chan's Discord or my Discord Hangout HQ. I will have invite links posted in the description below. Take care.